What's up everybody? I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs and are you ready? Because we're bringing out the guns today. We're gonna do some flexing for you. What do you guys think of that? Yeah, not me. I ain't really got no guns, so I got nothing. But what I do have is a Ford behind me that's all flexed out for you guys. And I don't think we've ever done this with a Baja grocery getter kit. So let's jump into this thing. Let's take some measurements, show you guys what we did, and show you just how we just like having fun here at Weld Tech Designs. So I've taken the forklift and I've jacked this thing all the way up and trying to stuff that in the wheel well and unfortunately this thing still has like another three inches of wheel travel i just can't get it to compress all the way without probably flipping the van over that's what would happen on my luck because on the back of this thing we put in an awesome set of springs and it's flexed out back there but let's talk about the front the articulation that this thing has let's take a measurement i'm going to give you guys two different measurements on this baja grocery getter kit i guess we should tell you what we did to this first so this is still two-wheel drive guys this is our baja grocery getter kit on this we are running our fox shocks on there and it's killer we're doing our extended radius arms and I'm gonna make Austin come all the way over here because you can see with this tire all the way tucked up in there, I can almost still fit my fist in there. I've got a ton of room because we've pushed all the suspension forward in there to allow these 285, 70, 17 tires to fit in there. And you can see a lot of you guys are looking for a little bit less expensive wheel option. I'm gonna tell you these pro comps, it's a super flat black. It's a nice wheel for the money, definitely cool. But let's talk measure, let's talk numbers here. Let's talk flex numbers, you know? Bro, like, what do you even bench, bro? What do you even bench, bro? So to the outside of the tire, I'm gonna call that like 20 and three quarters of an inch to the outside. I'm gonna give you a number on the inside too because I know some people are gonna be like, well, that's not really it. So I'm gonna come to the inside too. And we're at 18 and a half. You can't really see it. You're gonna have to trust me on that. So, God, there's a ton of room under here for activity. Oh! I mean, this is awesome. And just to show you guys what you can do out in the hills, trails, just having fun with this kit. It works, it really does. So let's go check out the other side of this thing where it's a lot more tucked than what this is, or extended, sorry, extended, not tucked. This side's tucked. So you can see this is starting to droop all the way out, and this still probably has about another inch that it would extend out as well. And let's just see from the wheel welds, we're looking like 12 and a half inches is what we have right there, so a lot of room. But what's even cooler is the back of this thing. As you can see, this thing's just like, that's what I'm saying guys. I don't know how much farther I could go without the whole thing just falling on its side. And then I'm crying and I have a pissed off customer. On the back of this cool rack and it's not an aluminous roof rack or ladder. I'm not sure who built it, but it looks really nice. So now as we jump underneath this thing, you'll see that this tire is way tucked up in the wheel well. And a lot of times guys, I mentioned that you're going to run, want to run wheel spacers on the back of this is because I barely can even fit a finger between the body of the van and the tire itself. Like if this thing, I wouldn't do it. I would run wheel spacers on the back of this thing if you think that you're going to be getting crazy, having some fun. Uh, like we like to do with our vans, I definitely recommend running the wheel spacers. But as far as for clearance in the front and in the back, you can tell that there is a lot of clearance back there. So no problem there um, with this tucking up in there. And let me look at one other thing. Oh, so we got all kinds of room on the shock for this thing to go up even more. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna tip this thing over. Can't do that. Let's go see the other side, it's all flexed out. I'm like a squirrel, I forget things. So, a luminous tire rack, guys. So, if you're looking to add a tire rack, you don't wanna add a whole bumper, this is a great option. I don't make anything, don't ever plan on making anything. And why make something? Because these guys over at Illuminous just kill it, make this awesome tire rack that just bolts right onto all of the factory mounts. 
and still utilizes your factory bumper. It's awesome, you know? So this is what I love back here, guys. So this is something that you don't see all the time, and this is completely maxed out. The shock is all the way extended on there, and you can just see the massive amount of room because, you know, we're coming in like 15 and three quarters of an inch from the tire to the upper fender well. So a lot of room in there, a lot of clearance. You can see this is moving quite a bit. I guess we should take a measurement of the other side, how much it's all tucked up in there. Just take measurements and, and let you guys know what we got. Man, so we're like, we're gonna go the other way. Four inches. So what did I say on the other side? 15 and a half. Yeah. So we got, got like 11 inches of, of flex and that's out here at the tire. A lot more articulation if we were to measure it front to back. But guys, this is a two wheel drive van and I just want to show you this because this van we also, I can show you on the inside, we're running a Switch Pro. We also installed an ARB locker in the rear of this. So this thing is really going to be a true two wheel drive having this rear diff lockable and it's selectable. I'll jump inside, we'll show you the inside of this build as well as the Switch Pro panel that we put in there in order to control the onboard air now and the air compressor, and then gives him a lot more ability to put even more lights. We always like lots of light force lights. I guess I gotta lower this thing down before we can, we can get in it. All right, let's do that first. So I got my handy dandy pointer to point out this also does have an ARB awning up here on the top. And this roof rack is cool. And you know, a lot of times with a lot of these roof racks, you do get a little howling noise. So it looks like they did a little wind dam up on the front of it in order to, you know, kind of get that to go away. So as we open up these barn doors and check out the inside of this, you're gonna see that they have a build going on that they've started in here. And that's what's cool about a lot of these bands. We always get to see different things in different stages of their build out. Um, so as we jump in here, you can see that they've done, I'll let Austin get in there because there's probably not room for both of us. So again, it's pretty common, I guess. You know, I never really noticed it until now. A lot of people seem to use those same flush mount um, LED lighting, which is gonna be really cool. I can see that they have a stove and their refrigerator down here on the bottom, and then a sink. They're gonna have their fresh water underneath it, and just a lot of other cool little things in here. Um, and the bed in the back, you know, which is gonna be key to a lot of these builds. But what I really want to show you guys is Austin turns around. You're going to see that awesome Switch Pro panel. That thing is right there. And that's going to come with enough to control eight things as well as you're going to get a bunch of stickers right here. So whatever you want to add to it, you can add those buttons to it. Uh, but it makes that really nice to put in and wire. And then this is the key to it. You got this pump up kit. So now you can just plug your air hose in and run this off of your compressor so now you can fill up tires or do anything like that that you need to so the compressor that you're running for your arb locker is not only good for your locker but it's good for running other accessories or other things you want to run a power tool by it um, you want to fill up tires you want to fill up rafts you want to fill up a paddle board whatever it is that you want to do you can use that onboard air to do that so we're all flexed out in this. I think we're done. I'm putting this video to a wrap. You guys would smash that subscribe button. And in this video, when you smash it, you gotta punch it. You know, that's what you do when you're flexed out. You just punch that subscribe button. I'm done. I'm done. We're out of here. That's it. See you guys in the next video.